Welcome to CBT News with Cheyenne Malone. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to CBT News. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching. On today's show, we are joined by Christine Vinatieri, president of the South Dakota Auto Dealer Association and the South Dakota Trucking Association. But first, here's a look at today's top automotive industry stories. Wholesale used car values dipped in the first two weeks of February following a market-wide decline in listing prices and inventory levels throughout January. Cox Automotive reports that auction prices dropped 0.9% from the prior month's average, while wholesale values compared to last year have dropped 13.9%. Compact car prices fared the worst on a year-over-year -year basis, falling 16.9%, while pickups lost the most on a month-over-month -month basis. However, demand remained strong throughout the first half of February, proven by a higher-than-normal average daily sales conversion rate of 59.1%. Ford has cut prices of its electric Mach-E as it looks to be competitive with Tesla in the EV sector. The new discounts range from $3,100 to $8,100 based on model with an additional 0% financing offer available for those who are eligible. The price cuts place the cheapest Mach-E variant, the rear wheel drive edition, below the $40,000 mark and approximately $1,000 more than the Model 3. Tesla has aggressively introduced discounts across its lineup over the last year, waging a so-called price war on its competitors. However, some rivals such as Stellantis have refused to react in kind, opting to keep prices flat to maintain profit margins. Toyota is facing regulatory action in Japan over an emissions cheating scandal. According to Nikkei, the automaker previously reported to the Japanese Transportation Ministry that it had tampered with test results for multiple internal combustion engine models, impacting forklifts, excavators, and passenger vehicles, including the Land Cruisers. Government agencies have yet to announce what steps they will take, but may decide to withdraw engine certifications for the impacted designs, disabling sales and exports. Toyota's Daihatsu unit admitted that last year it had been falsifying crash test data for more than three decades. General Motors has paused sales of two pickups over software issues. Dealers who received shipments of the 2024 Chevrolet Colorado or GMC Canyon trucks are now required to wait for an over-the-air patch before they can sell their units even. The stop sale order is the second to be issued by the automaker in three months after it was forced to halt purchases of the 2024 Chevy Blazer EV over glitches impacting interior displays and charging in December. GM has yet to release a software update for that issue, despite launching Blazer sales in mid-2023. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Christine Venetieri, president of the South Dakota Auto Dealer Association and the South Dakota Trucking Association. She's here to discuss how state associations are planning for the months ahead. CBT News is expanding its reach like never before and is launching in over 70 million broadcasting households. Whether you have Roku, Apple TV, or a mobile device running on Android or iOS, you can now enjoy our engaging, in-depth interviews with dealers, automakers, trade associations, best-selling authors, motivational speakers, and so much more, whenever and wherever you are. Simply search CBT News in the App Store of your smart TV. Can you give us an update on the dealer association since the last time we spoke? Any any news, any updates, any big yeah. wins? Um, so we're in the thick of our legislative session right now. Um, we looked at bringing a catalytic converter bill to really give law enforcement a tool mm. um, to strengthen the laws that we currently have in place. We did have a catalytic converter bill uh, a few uh, a couple years ago that essentially just said, if you're going to trade those in, you have to um, be you you have to get a check back versus cash. And so um, so if somebody's coming in and trading in a catalytic converter, they have to put their name on on that dotted line. Now, do we know that we're making a real impact? Not yet. They could be going to our neighboring states and trading those in. Mm. Um, but a start, and it's a start for us to work with our neighbors as well to mm -hmm. strengthen those thefts that we're seeing. Yeah, I mean, it seemed to me that the neighboring, uh, uh, you know, the, the neighboring states would want to adopt something just like this, right? Helps everybody. Yeah, 
we've been trying on a national front to have some sort of regulation in place um, because this is a major problem for our dealerships. Most of the dealerships are not open on Sundays. Mm. Uh, they're investing in new lighting. They're investing in some extra security to um, really protect their investment that they have within their dealership. Isn't this crazy? Isn't it the fact that we're talking about catalytic convert? It used to be they pulled out radios, you know, and but uh, or you know re, uh, wheels off of vehicles or what have you. But this is kind of crazy, right? But I guess it is. It is. Yeah. I and guess. I remember back in my day when I was in high school, we had those tape decks that you took off of, uh, you know, and you'd put it in your backpack before right. you went to school or college. So That's times right. certainly have changed, and we just need to make sure that we're protecting those investments from. Uh, protecting those investments um, that the dealerships have. See, that's so. why they never should have taken out when I was back in school the eight-track players. Now that was a good, <laughs> that was a good technology. You're not dating right there. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. So, are you so, seeing some of those same things on the trucking side as well? You know, the trucking industry is really different. We are, it's different, it's the same, right? We all have wheels. So we are really focused on the federal regulations coming out with the zero emissions, which we all know are going to impact mm. uh, our sales and car manufacturing. Yeah. Um, I, we've, we've been really trying to highlight all the changes made over the years and how far the trucking industry has come um, to being cleaner, safer, because look, at the end of the day, if you go to the store and your product isn't on the shelf, you're frustrated. That's right. And it's, it's the truckers that bring those yep. items. And be sure to watch this full interview right here at CBTnews.com. That does wrap our show for today, but we do invite you right back here tomorrow morning on CBTnews.com. And remember, you can always stay up to date with the most recent news and trends influencing the retail automotive industry by following us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and X, formerly known as Twitter. I'm Cheyenne Malone. Thanks so much for watching you. Have a good one. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content. CBT News is expanding its reach like never before and is launching in over 70 million broadcasting households. Whether you have Roku, Apple TV, or a mobile device running on Android or iOS, you can now enjoy our engaging, in-depth interviews with dealers, automakers, trade associations, best-selling authors, motivational speakers, and so much more, whenever and wherever you are. Simply search CBT News in the App Store of your smart TV 